And thanks for joining us here at 5 o'clock. I'm Delon Diller. And I'm Rob Powers. A 16-year-old boy is in critical condition tonight after a shooting just blocks away from a Cleveland high school. And that shooting sent the school into lockdown for most of the morning. News 5's Jordan Vandenberg has more on where this investigation stands and the chaotic scene that followed, Jordan. Yeah, witnesses say the shooting happened around 8.30 this morning, about a block away from Rhodes High School on Cleveland's west side. What prompted the shooting remains unclear, but... It was enough to create some anxious moments for parents. Mom, let's go, please. In the rain, they stood anxiously waiting, defenseless, nervously pacing, shooting down the street. The school went on lockdown. Parents hoping to hold their kids tight again. Yeah, the line, the line, the Come home. Okay, well, said that they was in lockdown, cold blue, and I'm like, okay, for real, or is it a drill? He's like, no, for real, and he sent me pictures of everything outside his classroom. Erin McCormick patiently waited to sign her son and two nieces out of class after a shooting a block away prompted Rhodes High School to go on lockdown. 203 Stickney Road, 5203 Stickney Road. And they for two shots fired and two juveniles running. According to Cleveland police, witnesses say a red car pulled up near a 16-year-old boy and shots were fired. The teen was shot in the head and remains in critical condition. I think we're not going to call that there's a child down in the yard. Police reportedly recovered a weapon near the crime scene. The shooting happened as some students were walking to class. Yeah, I got the book bag. I got a Glock 40 with a 50-round mag. So they was walking. They was walking perfectly fine. Everything was just, you know, then done that and then they turn the corner shots go down he starts running and that's that's all I can say following the shooting CMSD issued an all call to parents many of whom had already been notified of the incident through their kids Just doesn't make any sense parents gathered outside the school so they very unorganized in this school they need to get it together and in some cases waited over an hour to sign their children out people's yeah. babies are getting hurt you know, like this is you can't go home with hate me goes not crazy home with anybody. just crazy yeah. I've been standing out here for a good 45 minutes waiting for my son to get had released you had to be worried during that time yeah and I've been in contact with them the whole time on cell phone. Standing in the rain, parents prayed to be reunited with their children. And it's not the start to the third week of class that anyone wanted. It's something you get used to. Something I get Cleveland. used to living in Cleveland. <laughs> That's sad to say, but it is the truth. It's something you get used to. And we have reached out to CMSD for a statement. We are still waiting to hear back. In the newsroom, Jordan Vandenberg, News 5.